Hello everyone, so the Captain Marvel trailer came out today and I've got to say I'm excited to see a lot of familiar faces back on screen finally. Not since Avengers Infinity War, but <laughs> I'm guessing since like the Avengers Age of Ultron. So today we're going to be looking at maybe some of the top six things you may have missed in Captain Marvel. I could title it differently, but... Uh, I like this better. Here's the intro. Number six, the actors. I just want to say some of the actors are going to be in this film, such as the um, uh, Brianne. Uh, Linson, uh, Samuel Jackson, and including um, uh, Judy, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, those are just the slimmers of actors that, are, that will be in this film, and it's quite surprising that one of these people is part of the Harry Potter universe, and then the Marvel universe. One of them's owned by WB, the other is owned by Marvel slash Disney. Number 5, Blockbuster. Bit of a short one, but at the start of the trailer we get to see a Blockbuster. And now if you don't know, Blockbuster was a old video store. I went there when I was pretty younger and um, I heard there's at least only one left now. But um, I guess this is cool for other fans. I don't really understand it that much. I'm like a... Uh, I was a person who was born in 2000. What do you expect? is a universal language. Number four, Phil Coulson. I have been wanting Phil Coulson to return to the Marvel movie screen since the day he died. And then Age of Ultron, and now like uh, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. happened, I just wanted him to come back and uh, it doesn't look like he'll be returning back to the movie screen anytime for like Avengers 4 but considering now he's back here I'm guessing as a younger self it, it's good to see you back Phil Coulson we have all missed you we can't do this number three Nick Fury I think we've already seen the leaked photos of younger Nick Fury. Well, this will be very interesting, it will, because he looks younger, he was speaking over the trailer, and it'll be quite like nice to see, because when it comes to Avengers 4, it'll be like Captain Marvel may have just seen this Nick Fury, but then he's then she's going to go and have to see a younger Nick Fury, an older Nick Fury, if they end up rescuing them, but again, we'll talk about Avengers 4 uh, and stuff like that at the end of this. The universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. To the bad guys. Now I understand that the other bad guys are going to be in here, but one of them being is the one from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, if you may have noticed that this is the person who worked under Thanos and also Nebula, so maybe there could be some slight references to Thanos in this film. After all, the next one after this is Avengers 4. Captain Marvel herself at number one. All of the other scenes are fantastic, but I think the last one picks it quite well. 
Channels have said that this could, like Captain Marvel, could mess everything up. But to be honest, I don't believe that whatsoever. I feel like hopefully she'll be able to save it and hopefully kill Thanos. But that last scene in the trailer was epic and amazing. Memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. I'm not what you think I am. Hello, there, thank you guys so much for watching. What connections do I think this will bring? Well, maybe at the end of the film we may see Captain Marvel actually going to Wakanda. Or maybe... Titan. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how this all leads up. I'm sure there'll be a credit scene that's going to make us hype but also like have our senses because it's now like now we're leading into it. It's like every time a trailer or something comes out it's like it makes you emotional. Well for me it does because it's like after this it's Avengers 4 it is and apparently that film still needs to have reshoots so uh, that's not looking good, too good but anyway we've got Captain Marvel and it'll be very interesting to see what connections it has with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4 thank you guys so much for watching will I be seeing this film? definitely and it comes out on March 8th 2019 I know that's a long time to wait, but until then, we do have other stuff, like we've got Femin, we've got Fantastic Beasts, we've got Wicked Wealth 2, and most famously, Aquaman this December. And if you're a Life is Strange fan, then we've got Life is Strange 2 coming out next week, we have, including another, another Battlefront 2 content update with the squad system and Wolf Pack. Anyway, peace guys, see ya.